Hello there, this week we want to think about decision making. All of us make decisions, well, hundreds of them every day. From the time you wake up, you decide what time am I going to wake up, what do I uh, going to wear, do I take a cold or hot shower, what time do I leave maybe for work, and uh, where am I going, and uh, what am I going to be doing and who am I going to be meeting today and where am I going to have lunch and uh, we have so many so many decisions that we have to make every day well I'm here with a number of ties and I'm trying to decide which one uh, fits me or goes with what I'm wearing all of them are good well but there's probably one that will go with what I'm wearing what do you think this one well, maybe not. Um, uh, let me see. Maybe this one or no, I don't think that works. Or, uh, maybe, but not sure. Well, sometimes it takes time. That's why some people get late to go to work or to church and because they're trying to decide. Well, not so bad, but I don't know what you think, but... Um, trying to think uh, what will go please help me pick the best out of this and uh, which one goes with what I'm wearing here maybe I'll discard everything here and I'll stick with my number one and well maybe that will but still could do better than that but I work with what I have here so well my point is that there are many decisions to make, many choices in life. Well, and life has serious decisions. And uh, they are not just like, you know, what dress to wear with what and um, what tight goes with what shirt or suit. There are serious decisions in life. And every decision that you make about life, you think about, number one, you think about your destiny. Where am I going? Somebody said you dress for where you are going, not where you are coming from. So, as you think about what decisions you need to make, important decisions, leave alone, you know, what you're going to have for breakfast, but life has important decisions. So you think about where am I going? Where, where is my destiny? Uh, where do you want to be in the next 15, 20 years? If you add 20 years to your life today, well, you can tell how old you will be. So you begin to think, whatever decisions I make today, they will take me there. Number two, you need to realize that, well, every decision that you make, it affects other people. It affects how they feel and what they do, and even their opinion on you. If I put on a tie that doesn't go with my shirt then everybody who sees it will be wondering well well what went wrong so any decision we make in life whether small or big definitely it will affect other people friends people at church uh, family relatives and colleagues and all that so make the right decision now how do we make the right decision you need something called wisdom and somebody may be wondering how do i get wisdom number one the fear of god is the beginning of all wisdom if you walk in the fear of god then you will get the wisdom that you need number two listening well there are people who are always talking 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 and they never listen to other people the bible says iron sharpens iron therefore it is good to listen, especially people that have gone ahead of you and are full of wisdom. Number three, walk with the wise. Look at your five important people around your life. Are they people, men and women of wisdom? Or probably you need to discard some and look for people that are full of wisdom because people can pull you down or they can push you up. And number four, accept correction. Well, rebuke is part of life. <clears throat> if you do something wrong, not the right way, if you do some silly mistake, well, and somebody rebukes you, corrects you, then 
it is important you accept it and then number five guard your emotions and tongue well it is important that you guard what you say your emotions do not allow your emotion to flare all the way and you do and say things that you should never probably do or say and then appreciate the rank of life you need to understand that we are here for a time nobody is here for another hundred years well probably another 40 years there are people here who will not be here another 20 years another 50 years so we you know the bible talks of 70 years maybe some will go 80 90 but by the time you hit 90 you know how things look like so well it's good to number your days psalm 90 and verse 12 talks about numbering our days and then the bible encourages us to pray for wisdom he who has no wisdom should ask for wisdom so in every decision you make every day seek wisdom know that whatever you sow will come back to you and when it comes back to you it will affect you and affect you are fellow human beings it will affect our society our communities our nations our families our churches and our businesses so be wise make the right decision if you are not sure please you can wait seek opinion well sometimes i will go picking and looking for a tie to wear and i'm not sure and i'll put up one and ask my wife what do you think well, it's okay, it's not a weakness to ask your wife, your husband, your brother, your sister, somebody, your pastor, ask them what do you think and get some wisdom. So have a week that is full of wisdom and always seek wisdom.